today I interviewed another young lady and uh, she might be a seasonal staff member. Hi. And it was funny because I asked her, can you pass a background check? She was like, sure, but... Um, as long as it's not a federal offense, because I do have an aspiring political career, so... But I, I think it's funny that they put on their application that they can, and then they tell you in person they can't. But I did have one girl, oh my gosh, I never told you about her, huh? I interviewed her, and we asked her over the phone, Marissa asked her, she said, can you pass a background check, can you pass a drug test? She was like, yeah, for sure. And then she came in and she was like, you know, I want to tell you in person, I can't pass a background check because last year I was um, committed of uh, shoplifting, but it wasn't me, it was my friend. I was just there. She was a, uh, a bystander. I was like, oh, what a coincidence. And I was like, well, why didn't you get an attorney to get it expunged, to get it removed from your record? And she was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, if you can't afford an attorney, you can get a public defender and they would help you out. She was like, no. And then I was like, when we test for drugs, we also test for cannabis. And she was like, you do? I was like, yes, of course. And she was like, oh, well, what don't you test for? <laughs> for real, that's what she said. She was like, what don't you test for? And I was like, I don't know specifically what. <laughs> she was like, yeah, because me and my boyfriend went to the dispensary last week. And I was like, oh, well, that's nice, but. Uh... Well, I'm glad she was honest. Well, she lied, though. Because on the phone, she's like, yeah, I can pass. Misleading. So I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll call you. So right now I'm using the diamond prep it to go in, remove any dry non-living tissue, and also begin to prep the nail at the same time. So you better freeze me some clam linguine. So that way I can just at least go to Florida for like two or three days so that way I can go to Disney World. I need to go. I even got... I love Disney pens. I got the limited edition 50 year anniversary Disney World pen. See, it has the 50 here somewhere. There it is. 50 years of Disney in Florida. This is the limited edition pen. Isn't it adorable? It was expensive too. It was like 14 bucks. But I had to get it. Hi. Let's try to get to 100 views, you guys, so that way we can do a giveaway at the end. I will do my best. What? Oh, the consumption of, of uh, cannabis? Well, it's illegal under federal. And uh, for us here at our company, I don't approve of it because since it is a, a downer, uh, they're more likely to make mistakes if they're, you know, mellowed out. I need everybody on their A game, you know. Mm -hmm. no. Delicious. Sign me up. Oh my gosh, really? The, uh, probably the clam sauce, because it's OG, it's super authentic. Thank you, it's so appreciated. Yesterday at a Christmas party, that one of the girls that works for me, she was like, so you've never, like, peace and love, I guess you could call it, or I don't want to say it because I want to be demonetized. I was like, no, I'm a giant prude. Hmm? If I've ever uh, consumed cannabis for recreational purposes. And I was like, no, not me. Not I, not I. <laughs> but you know, to each their own. We all have our vices. Mine is close. And lately video games. But it's also like coming, like, someone that drinks recreationally, I wouldn't expect someone to come to work drinking, you know what I mean?
Oh really? That's very kind of you. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna put a primer. I wouldn't want somebody, you know, that's consuming cannabis, grabbing a fork if that's dangerous. Or drunk. Which one? Well, one fell, and uh, he had cannabis in his system. So that's one of the reasons why we don't tolerate it. Oh, the tall one? He tested positive for a lot of things. You know, I'll just say this, he didn't test positive for COVID, but he tested positive <laughs> for pretty much everything else. Which one? Ah, uh, the one with the beard? He was kind of short, but he was kind of like built. No, not him. That's true. Hi, love. Yeah, so we have a zero tolerance. That is dangerous. Well, no, they didn't fall off a forklift. They thought they, he thought he was Tarzan, and instead of using a ladder in the warehouse, he was like, oh. He thought he was Tarzan swinging from the vines, and no, that's not okay. There's over 10,000 tutorials, actually. That's a lot of tutorials that we have, huh? So there's one there for you. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to use a clear DIY go to adhere the brand new 123 Go in excess sculpted oval. Did you find it? Just give me one. And the other one put it there. Because then, does he kill me? But... Somewhere. There's there somewhere. If not, they're probably over there. Mira. They call me Mad of Yellow. Yeah, 100%. And workman's comp insurance is no joke. I mean, it's there for a reason, but you also have to take into consideration, you know, if someone uses that for recreational purposes or whatever kind of purposes. Oh, thank you. Sculpted oval one two three go. This shape is everything. Super natural, super femme, just a perfect everyday kind of shape as well too. This is great because it's a very comfortable shape to wear as well too. And we're using clear DIY gel to adhere today. You know, I'm gonna have uh, Italian for for Christmas Eve too. We're not having linguine with clam sauce. We're having chicken parm, which is actually very Australian. 
the other day I was joking with Melanie Crow from Enoch Tour Australia and I was like, I felt like an honorary Aussie the other day. I was watching Australian Wife Swap because I love Australian Wife Swap in my flannel pajamas having chicken parm. I think for dinner tonight though, because the girls here at um, work, they had pizza for lunch, but I can't have regular pizza, because I'm always on a diet. I think I might have pizza for dinner, like diet pizza. They have a vegan meatless pizza at Trader Joe's, that's so good, you would not tell that it's vegan. Or meatless. beautiful that shape is you guys so natural and simple let's bake that for one minute inside the barbie dog yes so you guys i was talking about this on instagram we're going to launch this probably if not tonight to on monday these are the maxi wet wipes which are multi-use moistened wipes for nail dust and makeup removal and they have a very light scent to them as well, too. Look how adorable they are. They're vegan and hypoallergenic. And I didn't want to do like a super strong scent because I know a lot of people don't like that. So we just wanted to keep it very light, very natural. It's very soft, huh? Clean, but not super strong. Like I didn't want to do anything super sweet or like overpowering. You have to smell it hard in order to like get a whiff of it. And the wipes are perfect for both makeup removal and for nails because they're not like, no, for this one? It helps like cleanse the nail after you're done, like to get rid of dust or everything. It's the perfect way to finish a service. I've heard of Aldi, I need to check out Aldi because I heard they have a lot of really cool little knickknacks there, but I've never been to one. Maybe Whole Foods or something like that, sounds like. Have you ever been to um, Aldi Supermarket? No? I've never been to one either, but let us know in the comments below if you guys have an Aldi where you live and if it's worth the trip. Really? Wow, I've never heard of it. Wow, and it's good. It doesn't taste like medicine. Because sometimes I doubt like vegan stuff or like meatless stuff just to have like a healthier option. Because I'm not vegan and I'm not vegetarian or anything like that. I love me some steak. But uh, I bought these like vegan orange chicken at Whole Foods and I gave it to my dog and my dog didn't want to eat it either. It was so gross. Is it good though? Is Aldi good? From Aldi? Wow! They have like three or four of them in Phoenix, but in Tucson they don't have any. And at Whole Foods, we bought um, almond tortillas. They were pretty good, actually. This is 
like, I gotta make sure it's fancy so that way everything's in its place. It was funny, on Instagram we were talking about the Walmart that we go to, which is actually one of the highest grossing Walmarts in the world, is in the hood. And there's like so many, oh, to buy something at the cosmetic section, what do you have to do? Buzz in to Fort Knox, it is so bad. Everything is behind bars and locks and keys. I know it's for loss prevention, but... Really? Wow. So now you're really crammed into the Walmart. An aisle? Wow. But that Walmart sells everything though. So all Aldi's are Safeway in Texas because I look at, looked it up and it said there was only one Aldi in Texas. And I was like, really? A state the size of France only has one Aldi? We're going to blend in the cuticle using the pink carrot fix. Hi from New Zealand, kia ora. Did it break? Oh. You were so expressionist. Did we reach 100 views yet? We want to do a giveaway, you guys. Are we close? Oh, we were about halfway there. Come on, you guys. We can do it. Let's reach 100 for that giveaway. Post the video in your favorite group. Call your mom. Call your dad. Call your aunt and uncle. Call your Ruka and your Haina and your Vato. Let them know that we're live so that way they can watch. Do we want to give stuff away? I know, me. Ooh, I feel like I will never turn down a meal or a drink. Your com call your comadre too. Is she really? Where is she from? Jersey? Maryland. She went to the Big B. How does she like it out there? Oh wow. From where? From all these? Wow. Ah. At all these? No, they're gonna be in Tucson though. Oh, they are? Yeah, you didn't see that. They're gonna be at the Ava. On the link you sent me. You didn't read that? No, the Ava's in Tucson. So that way we can go to all these. And yogurt. And breakfast pizza and the reason why I brought Aldi up is because I was reading on a perfume forum because if you guys know me I love SJP if you don't know who SJP is it's Sarah Jessica Parker I bought her perfumes and I was reading something about like Chanel number no. five dupes and all these had a dupe for Chanel number no. five and I was like all these sells perfume the grocery store Easy? I don't know if all these sells perfume like their own brands of perfume. So it was a Chanel number no. five dupe, and I was like, that's really weird. Oh. <laughs> Everybody and their mom. But I just remember always wanting to, to get this Monday. Really? They sell perfume. 
Wow. So uh, apparently there's a dupe for Chanel number no. 5 at Aldi. Wow. I really want to visit one now. But I don't want to have to have a, a day trip. For reals, because it would be like four hours. And then go to Aldi's. You want to go to Aldi's all dressed up, all dolled up, in a tutu, with a full beat on and everything. And then the groceries are going to go bad in the car. Because it's going to be in May. Apenas así. Can you imagine living groceries in your car in the middle of May in Arizona, in Phoenix, when it's 120 outside? Your steak is going to be cooked by the time you get... Yes, for real. So now we're going to the dust. Mm -hmm. So for the base color, I'm going to use A Pink number 3, which is the OG perfect nude, literally for every skin color, every skin type. Everyone looks perfect in A pink number three, the most popular A pink color. That's a lot of Texas. And like random places in Texas, like where were they gonna be in Texas? Like Laredo, Grand Prairie. They're gonna be in Midland. Wow. They're gonna be in Laredo. Wow, I thought that was Laredo. That's really the bottom of the barrel. No offense to Laredo. No, we need probably like frozen ice or dry ice, that way it lasts. Go to school. Get your license and practice. Don't get discouraged. Don't believe half of what you see on social media because a lot of those fantasies don't look like they're in real life. They will be catfishing you. So don't get discouraged. Practice is the most important key and create your own style. And the best form of advertising to build up a clientele is word of mouth. Hands down. Good old fashioned word of mouth. That's right. It's great that you have a lot of followers, but you know... Uh, Tammy K. Baker that lives in Bunker, Ohio is not gonna go to is not gonna come to Tucson, Arizona and get her nails done just because she likes to post. You know what I mean? You so You're welcome. It's like the name says, pre-made full coverage gel nails. But I have seen a lot of people put acrylic on the inside to do kind of like an encapsulation, which is totally fair. Yes, to apply them with acrylic, just to show people how to do it properly. We're gonna get our little pistachio ombre brush ready. First coat of flash of 147. And we're gonna do a gradient, ombre effects. Cool. 
cool. The best way to practice is on yourself, I swear. That's how I... Like, my hands have different shapes, like this one, because I pinch my nails so much, because I like my nails really skinny. And... Literally, put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off. So I'm taking my pistachio brush and just really gently feathering the glitter towards the back. And the brush that we're using is the pistachio brush. Okay, let's bake that thirty seconds. Using, of course, the world famous flash shell reflective diamond glitter gel in 147. You're ready for the fantasy. Now, are they on sale already? The tickets? You should check. I want backstage. Like, I want to sit on her lap tickets. <laughs> I'd be like, Paulina, can you buy me a house? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you're team Alejandro Guzman or if you're team Pao. Pero tu no sientes nada, te like back in the 80s, are you Team Tiffany or are you Team Debbie Gibson? That would have been cool if on Y swap instead of swapping Tiffany with whoever they did. I can't remember who they swapped her with. Uh, swapping her with Debbie Gibson, that would have been cool. Team Debbie Gibson. Electric you. Not yet. I'm surprised I never asked you to do one of those kinds of shows, like Celebrity Wife Swap or something like that. Really? They're making her seem like she's the opening act. She is not an opening act. She's a headliner. Let's take that. Kawama song. Oh. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you know what a Kawama is. So now we're going to do a coat of Wonder Gel over the entire fantasy. Doesn't the voice kind of sound like Alejandro with Mansu? Hmm. 
Really? That's good. <laughs> so a long time ago in Mexico, when beer first came out, or I can't remember exactly, but they wanted to market it as like a family size beer. So it'd be basically like a 40 ounce, isn't it? Bigger than 40 ounces? Beer family size was the idea, but people just drink the whole thing themselves. And a kawama is uh, a slang for a sea turtle. So it's beer, a beer can or a beer bottle the size of a sea turtle. It's a lot of beer. Survey so. down, let itself level out for just a few seconds. Oops. I'm gonna get my rhinestones ready. They wear my nail stuff. They wear my, the guy that does their nails. He uses inokatour.com. Yeah, he's a VA. He's a brand ambassador. So if you know who Orozco Pozo Durangos is, they rock inokatour.com. I know. They live in Chicago too. So now we're going to make a nice coat of. And they gave me a shout out once too on Instagram. I was so excited because I was like, wow, a real celebrity noticed me. It kind of sounds like polka a little bit too, doesn't it? The sorting tray, you guys, makes diamond applications so much fun and easy because you don't have to be fighting with the diamonds, flipping them over. So as I was talking about earlier about like celebrity perfumes, I'm really surprised you never came out with one because there was a while, like a minute, like I think 2007, where every single celebrity had a perfume. And most of them have been discontinued. Do you remember the Lady Gaga one that was like black liquid but it wouldn't stain your clothes? It actually didn't smell that bad. It was called Fame Monster. Aladdin shoes. You have to jump side to side with Durango. Have you ever been to Durango? That makes two of us. They're Durangoans? Wow, so it's, it's, it's uh, Manifest Destiny that this music came out. Are they really Durangoans? 
Los dos. Really? One more minute. Remember, diamond gel requires two minute for a full cure to make sure that gel underneath the diamond is fully cured, okay? How crazy. I had no idea that you had sangre de oranguense running through those veins. Are you guys excited for the new Maxi Wet Wipes? Multi-use. You guys are gonna love them. They smell so good! I'm so cold. I swear, I feel like I'm a vampire. What, search my hand? No, your hands are warm, they feel nice. You know what I- Really? I just realized that my fan, that one, is the same shape as the PlayStation 5. <laughs> and it's the same color scheme too and everything. We're gonna finish with a little bit of Kona Candy Cuticle Oil and she'll be ready to go to Durango. Just gonna refine the shape very gently with the 240 grit file. Both of them? Both hands in the, in the frame? Look at that. Wow, look how cool that is. That is sparkly if I know some glitter. Well, my love, that's going to wrap it up for our quick little demo today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we didn't reach 100 views for the giveaway, but there is always Monday. And don't forget, you guys, the sticker sale ends today at midnight, 25% off every single sticker here at EnoCouture.com. No promo code needed, and I hope you guys like the new 123GO shape and XS Sculpted Oval. And what can I say, you guys? I love you guys so, so much. Pink Army forever. You guys are the best. Thank you for choosing and supporting American companies like enocouture.com and I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye!